Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good morning. Thanks for being here on this wonderful day on the Founder BB Show. I'm going to start it off with a great guest. I've got Leah Thomas. She's an environmental activist and an eco communicator. And you know, many Americans, we distrust the quality of our water. You know, it's just one more reason for people to drink bottled water and throw away all those bottles, which are littering the environment. But Leah has some information for us. Leah, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Hi, thanks so much for having me. You know, uh, tell us about the work you're doing and in, in, in to promote environmental justice. Explain, can you explain environmental justice for us? Absolutely. So environmental justice is a belief that everyone should have access to a healthy living environment, regardless of race and income, and that no one should be bearing a disproportionate amount of environmental burden. And that's why I'm doing this work with Britta in particular to make sure that everyone has access to safe and healthy drinking water. Why are so many people in vulnerable communities, why are they relying on bottled water. Yeah, so a lot of people don't know that the United States goes through around uh, 2,000 single-use plastic water bottles every second, which is a tremendous amount of plastic waste that's being produced. And in large part in vulnerable communities, there's a lot of predatory marketing by plastic water bottle brands that's leading one in four people on food assistance to not trust the government to provide them with safe drinking water, so they're relying on plastic water bottles instead. How does the SNAP food program segue into this? Yeah, so SNAP benefits have increased since the first time since 1975, and this is a really good step in the right direction. However, a lot of people are running out of their SNAP benefits halfway through the month, and they're also spending a lot of their funds on plastic water bottles. So to make that kind of stretch a little bit further across the month, if people were not using plastic water bottles, then they'd have a lot more funds to use on more nutritious foods throughout the month. How, um, they don't feel safe about their water, so how do they break the habit of buying water in plastic bottles? Yeah, so a great way to do that is to use water filtration systems like Brita. You actually save a lot of money along the way by doing that. And that's one of the ways to kind of decrease your dependence on plastic water bottles. One of my posters, uh, we're on social media platform. This one's from Instagram. They want to know if reusing plastic water bottle, does that help? That does help. So I would say one thing that people could do is reusing what you already have. So if you do have plastic water bottles at home, hold on to those as long as possible and you can use a water filtration system to refill those. And that's a great way to also reduce your plastic intake. What can companies do to work towards a real change and a, a solution for this problem? One thing that people can do is connect with their local officials. You can call them, you can email them, and talk to them about the urgent need for climate justice and to ensure that everyone has access to safe drinking water. What can we do to support communities that are uh, impacted by n not good quality of water and even communities that don't have water. And you, you wouldn't believe that in the United States. I'm in Texas. We have a community called Sand Branch. It's a freed uh, uh, slave community that was started after the Civil War and they have no running water at all. Yeah, it's really quite startling. There are so many communities across the United States that are struggling with 
without having clean water. Flint is another really popular example of a community that was impacted by water pollution. Um, and there are so many other communities, like you mentioned, like Flint across the country. So to stand in solidarity with these communities, definitely amplify what they're going through, call your local officials, and make sure to get involved with environmental justice movements to make sure that everyone has access to basic human needs. And I believe that water is one of those basic human needs. I want my audience to know that Leah Thomas is an eco-communicator, also known as an environmentalist, and she has a love for writing. Leah, online, where can we find out more information and become more educated? You can head to Brita.com to find out more. I want to thank you so much. This is a really important topic, so thank you for stopping by the Valder Beebe Show. It's been my pleasure. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.